Hi, this is Rhonda from Mbaka Design. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet Patience, one of my crochet angel patterns. For the free written pattern, please visit my website, mbakadesigncrochet.com, and please click the subscribe button on YouTube for more video tutorials and patterns. To make this pattern, you will need medium weight yarn. I chose to use Red Heart Super Saver yarn. You will also need a four millimeter G crochet hook, a 2.25 millimeter B crochet hook, a pair of scissors, a yarn needle, a stitch marker, some bow wire, or you can use a pipe cleaner, and some polyfill stuffing to fill the angel's head. I normally crochet my angels in white yarn, but for the purposes of this tutorial, I will be using a different colored yarn so that it will be easier for you to see on the white background. With your 4 millimeter hook, make a double magic ring and work 6 single crochet stitches into that ring. To close the ring, gently pull the yarn end to see which strand of yarn moves. Once you've determined which one is moving, pull the opposite end to the end that is going into the stitches until the first ring tightens and closes. Then pull the yarn end to securely close the double magic ring. Round two. Work two single crochets into each single crochet stitch around. Because we're working in continuous rounds, I recommend that you use a stitch marker to mark the position of your first stitch. At the end of round two, you will have 12 single crochet stitches. Remove the stitch marker to begin round three. Work your first single crochet and then put the stitch marker back into that stitch. For round three, we're working two single crochets in the first stitch, one single crochet in the next stitch, and we repeat that all the way around, working two in the next stitch, then one in the next stitch. At the end of round three, you will have 18 single crochet stitches. For round four, round five, and round six, we work one single crochet stitch into each stitch around. Once you've completed your three rounds of single crochets, 
we will begin our first decrease round. This is to shape the head. We'll be working a single crochet two together over the first two stitches. And when I work these, I work under the front loop only. Remember to replace your stitch markers so you remember what the first stitch of the round is. Single crochet into the next stitch. And working under the front loops of the stitches only, single crochet two together, single crochet in the next stitch, and repeat around. Single crochet two together, single crochet. At the end of round seven, you will have 12 single crochet stitches. I recommend at this point, you stuff the head firmly with your polyfill or you can use cotton balls if you'd like, or yarn scraps. If you removed your crochet hook to stuff the head with the polyfill, replace it now and begin round eight. For round eight, we will be working single crochet two together all the way around. Once again, I work under the front loops only. Remember to replace your stitch marker in the first stitch once you've completed it. At the end of round eight, you will have six single crochet stitches remaining. For round nine, we will be working one front post single crochet in each stitch around. Insert your hook around the post of the stitch from the front to the back to the front and work a single crochet stitch. Replace your stitch marker. And continue around, working one front post single crochet for each single crochet stitch. At the end of round nine, you have six front post single crochet stitches. This makes the neck for the angel. For round 10, we will be working one single crochet and one front post single crochet in each of those stitches from round nine. Remember the loops of the front post single crochet stitch that was worked in row nine fall to the right of the post of the stitch. So single crochet and then front post single crochet for each stitch.
at the end of round 10, you will have 12 stitches. To finish this round, we do need to slip stitch to join into the first single crochet. Round 11 begins with a chain three, which counts as one double crochet. Next, we work one front post double crochet in the front post single crochet beneath it. Chain two. And skip the single crochet and the front post single crochet beneath it. Work one double crochet into the next single crochet. Work one front post double crochet into the next front post single crochet. One double crochet in the next single crochet one front post double crochet in the next front post single crochet. Chain two and skip the single crochet and front post single crochet beneath it. Double crochet in the next single crochet and work one front post double crochet in the last front post single crochet. For this round, slip stitch to the top of the chain three to join. The two chain two spaces create the armholes for the angel's dress. Chain three, which counts as one double crochet and work one double crochet in the next stitch that would be the front post double crochet. And now we need to work one double crochet in the back loop of each of the two chains. The back loop is always the one that's furthest away. Work one double crochet in each of the next four stitches. And now work one double crochet in the back loop of each of the next two chain stitches. Work one double crochet in the last two stitches of the round. At the end of this round, you will have 12 double crochet stitches. Don't work into that slip stitch from the beginning. The next round, round 13, we're working front post half double crochet, so we don't need to join for round 12. Simply begin by working a front post half double crochet around the initial chain three. Replace your stitch marker so you will remember where the beginning of the round is. Work one front post half double crochet around each of the double crochets. Remove your stitch marker and slip stitch to the first front post half double crochet to join for this round.
Begin round 14, chain three, this counts as our first double crochet, and work a second double crochet in the same space, chain one, and two more double crochets. Skip one front post half double crochet stitch, and into the next stitch, work two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. Skip one stitch, and in the next stitch, work two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. We repeat this all the way around to the very last stitch. Skip the last stitch and then slip stitch to the first double crochet to join. Slip stitch into the chain one space and begin the next round. Chain three counts as one double crochet. Double crochet, chain two, two double crochets, all into that first chain one space. Skip the stitches in between and work into the next chain one space. Work two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets. And repeat, working only in the chain one spaces all the way around. At the end of the round, skip the last two double crochets and slip stitch into the first double crochet of the round. Slip stitch into the chain two space and chain three to begin round 16. The chain three counts as your first double crochet. Work two more double crochets, chain two and three double crochets all in that first chain two space. Skipping all the stitches in between and only working in the chain two spaces, work three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets. Repeat this all the way around until you reach the end of the row. Skip the last two double crochets and slip stitch to the first double crochet of the round to join. Slip stitch into the next double crochet and into the chain two space. Chain three, work two double crochets, chain two, and three more double crochets, all into the first chain two space for round 17. Work three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets into each chain two space around. Skip the last three double crochet stitches and slip stitch to the first double crochet of the round to join. Slip stitch into the next double crochet and into the chain two space to begin round 18. Chain three 
and work three more double crochets, chain two, and work four more double crochets all into the first chain two space. For round 18, we work four double crochets, chain two, four double crochets into each chain two space around. Skip the last three double crochet stitches and begin round 19. Work one front post single crochet around the initial chain three and one front post single crochet around each of the next three double crochet stitches. Work one single crochet into the chain two space and work one front post single crochet around each of the next four double crochet stitches. We repeat this all the way around, finishing with an invisible join Next, we need to make our angel's arms. With your four millimeter hook, chain 21, Beginning in the second chain from the hook, work one single crochet in each chain across. At the end of the row, chain one and turn. Work one single crochet in each stitch across. Chain one. And now we will be slip stitching the two edges together. At the end of the row, finish off and weave in the ends. You insert the arm through the armhole, chain two spaces on either side of the angel. Next, we will make the angel's wings. With your four millimeter hook, chain 10.
beginning in the second chain from the hook, work one slip stitch into each chain across. At the end of the row, you will have nine slip stitches. Chain one and turn your work. Slip stitch under the back loop only of the first eight stitches. Skip the last stitch. Chain two, work one slip stitch under the back loop of each of the eight stitches across. chain one and turn, work one slip stitch under the back loop of seven of the stitches across. Skip the last stitch, chain two, turn your work and work one slip stitch in each of those seven stitches across under the back loop only. Chain one and turn your work. Work one slip stitch under the back loop of each stitch across for the first six stitches. Chain two, turn your work. Work one slip stitch under the back loop of each stitch across. Chain one and turn. Work one slip stitch under the back loop of the first five stitches. Skip the last stitch, chain two and turn. Work one slip stitch under the back loop only in each stitch across. Chain one and turn. Work one slip stitch under the back loop of each of the first four stitches. Skip the last stitch, chain two and turn. Slip stitch under the back loop of each stitch across. Chain one and turn. Work one slip stitch under the back loop of each of the first three stitches, skip the last stitch, chain two and turn, and work one slip stitch under each of the three stitches under the back loop, chain one, and now we need to work a single crochet, seven together, through the row ends, to cinch your wing into shape. Finish off leaving a tail for sewing your wing in place and repeat this process for your second wing. Once you have your two wings, find the back 
of your angel. And whip stitch the wings into position. Once you are happy with the placement of your wing, weave in your ends and repeat for the second wing. To make your angel's halo, using your 2.25 millimeter hook and the bow wire, chain 20. Finish off pulling the end of the bow wire through the last stitch. Take the tail and thread it through the seventh chain from the opposite end. This will create the halo ring. Twist the end around the stitches, the first seven, beneath the halo to secure the loop in place. Trim any excess to make it more manageable. Thread the end onto your yarn needle and then position the halo centered on the back of the head. Once you're happy with where the halo has been placed, trim the end of the bow wire and you're finished. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial to show you how to make one of my crochet angel patterns. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this. Have a great day.